And Twiggy's the one that would fight a few of them and beat them. That was a gimmick a few years back. I miss the Twiggy that would wrestle with Beef Wellington. I miss the Twiggy that would come out to Bon Jovi. And he would have the Macho Man pants and Michael, ja- and the Michael Jackson's Thriller jacket. That was a cool gimmick and that would be timeless. But he had to take a different direction, grab the mic, let a few little pipe bombs to people, and what happened? Nothing has changed at all. He's still the same weirdo. And we will not acknowledge what just happened in the previous match. Sorry. That was a that was a very bad call. I don't know what the hell happened. Maybe Curse has got maybe Curse has finally fed up. You know? I mean he's been on the hunt to gain back the, the main champion, the main prize here in fantasy for wrestling. I mean, he carried the FPW World Heavyweight Championship for a year before losing to The Undertaker. I mean, that was pretty cool too, right? He got to carry that title the whole year, defending it with the likes of Player Uno, Pumpkin Escobar, King Cairo. You know, I mean, he did it all. Oh man, almost a three right there, and Twiggy's in the blue. Um, you know, and then eventually, you know, you know, first lost, but still, he chased after. In 2015, he went on the uh, on the pursuit. He won the belt back, of course, to ultimately lose it against Brandon Wolf in the unification match. Beautiful internal damnationes on the Twixter. Though he lost the title last fall, which then became the undisputed FPW champion of the universe, Curse has been relentless in trying to get back to on back on his feet and get that title back. Another internal damnationes going for the cover. One, two, and three. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all she wrote. What the hell? What the hell is this, ladies and gentlemen? Why are we getting a third match here? What, is this now a best two out of three falls? Is that it? Are we allowing this? Jim, talk to me. Really? We're doing this? Okay, thanks, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been reported by my technician that this is no way best 23 falls match, and this is the match. This is it. Aw. Uh, that was not really on our format, fans, but... This is what's happening. Best two out of three falls. This is our last round. Twiggy and Curse to decide who meets Titanium. I'm sure that Titanium was overjoyed when he found out that Curse had won the match. And it was a pretty decent victory, too. It was a clean Vic. It was a clean Vic. But we will have a victory moments from now, ladies and gentlemen, I assure you, this is the last fall in this match. Unbelievable.
So, during the uh, last transmission here, we had a discussion about this whole contest we're having here, and this was not formatted Two, for the event. Three, and now we finally have a victory! Curse is definitely the victor! Play his theme music for crying out loud! Play it! an extra five points he is going to meet titanium in the second round or the semi finals congratulations to curse ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to 2016 fw king of the ring i also want to congratulate all the stars here tonight for participating all eight of you have been Magnificent, and um, you know, in this wrestling business, anything can happen. This great, great sport. I know we've seen a few little weird moments, like the commercial we saw in the first match, Ken and Jackson Jr. and Pumpkin Escobar, the uh, impromptu best two out of three falls match. I mean. Maybe it was my fault when I first started doing that, but I mean, I don't know. It wasn't a very good match. We had to make things a bit better. That's what we do here at Fantasy Pro Wrestling. We want to provide you with the best wrestling you can ever see on YouTube and on Facebook. So fans, again, thank you for, ta for taking your time and tuning in to watching King of the Ring. And we already have our semi-final round set up. Check out the card if you will, fans. So as it stands, Kenan Jackson Jr. is going to be Pedro Suave. And Titanium will meet Curse. This is going to be pretty awesome, ladies and gentlemen. And I look forward to seeing those matches. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next here in the 2016 FPW King of the Ring, we're going to take a little tournament within the tournament as we continue on our FPW Tornado Tag Team Championship Tournament, where it's the Prep Boys, Jesse the Hand Baudouin, and Mick Lovin, the sexy hamburger himself, Representing the Brotherhood, going up against the Super Squad, a legendary tag team consisting of Lawless and El Guapo. The winning team of that match will then meet the Fantastic Junkins, as mentioned earlier in this broadcast. And that will conclude who will be the number one contenders for the FPW uh, Trail Tag Team Championships. Super Sandwich, Vicious Jeremy, and Cactus Jen, who have held out those titles for almost three years. Could you imagine that? Unbelievable. Well, fans, all that's going to unfold sooner or later. So let's get down or inside for our next contest. It's the Prep Boys versus Super Squad. Here at King of the Ring 2016.